Well, it's a beautiful night here in Arizona. And uh, I think we had a high of 85 degrees today. About 70, 79, 80 degrees right now. Sun's going down. It's about 6.30 in the evening. Uh, came out just for a couple hours here to see what I could find. Uh, found some largemouth up pre-spawn. Caught about three largemouth and then I uh, switched it up and uh, looked for some crappies and found some crappies uh, spawning in some some uh, flooded wood and uh, old trees. So I um, was hoping for a hat trick here. Uh, I'm actually trolling for uh, stripers right now. So we'll see if I hook into any. I've had uh, two on and, and they've gotten off. So um, giving it a shot here, see if I can uh, find some more fish. Stay tuned. Well, we're hooked up with a good fish here. We'll see what we have on. When I was trolling here, I was actually uh, targeting fish about 25 to 30 feet, you know, down in the water column. So I was using my larger um, walleye planer boards to, uh, you know, get the baits and the lines away from the boat. As you can see here, I had about a three ounce snap weight on using the 50-50 uh, uh, method, you know, uh, letting your bait out 50 feet, attaching the weight, letting out another 50 feet of line, and then attaching that to the planer board, running it out from the boat. Uh, that tactic seemed to really uh, put the bait in front of the fish's face. My wife was kind enough to uh, film me while I was fighting this fish, but I wanted to demonstrate that uh, trolling definitely can uh, be done with uh, uh, a guy fishing solo. You know, it's a little bit, a uh, little bit busy in the back of the boat with a tiller boat, but it can be done. As the sun goes down, the fish tend to rise up in the water column. So uh, once we got a little later in the evening, I went to smaller uh, bait profiles and uh, smaller planer boards. Well, I pretty much have my walleye uh, trolling gear set up here. I got my my Daiwa sea line reel and I got a ugly stick uh, trolling rod. And I'm using my TX6 planer board. I'm just running about 55, 60 feet behind the board. I got a small uh, suspending shad wrap on and uh, got the same thing over here on the on the starboard side. I got my Fenwick uh, trolling rod there but uh, still a T TX6 board, small trolling board uh, with a smaller shad wrap, suspending shad wrap. Well, you can see a, a TX6 planer board is actually, you know, smaller than a dollar bill. It's a, it's a really finesse trolling board. It's uh, meant for running smaller baits or running your baits pretty shallow. So this is, this is a great uh, board to use uh, when you're fishing the top, you know, the top 15 feet of water in the water column. But this, uh, this clip here is just spring loaded and then this clip here is just a plunger you slip your line in the back of the back of the board it works pretty slick well it's time to head in we've had a nice outing but uh i'll post a video here in the future uh that gets into the nuts and bolts of uh rigging for uh stripers and and trolling for them uh thank you for watching